Hi everybody, it's me, Legardo Laxon, also known as Chino. Good evening, buenas noches, maganda gabe. I'm speaking my three languages right now, I gotta go up to my five. Right now, I'm just gonna do my reviews. I did the ahappydeal.com, I love that website, and I'm actually having a good kickback time. I just came back from Los Angeles, alright? And, ooh, my girlfriend's calling me. <laughs> and then after that, um, right now I'm having a good shot of Mao Thai. It's um, one heck of a man. This costs this costs a hundred dollars. Okay, make a quick review. I'm drinking right now, and I'm right now hydrating in water. This is a 53 uh, uh, percent of volume of alcohol from China. Um, with a, of course, I'm using an orange twist. Eating some bowl of noodles with crab. Yes. Okay, that's it. Okay. First review. I am doing the UMPC. This is an Android 2.2.3. Uh, netbook. This is actually, I bought two of them. And to be honest, Mr. Android is way better than Windows CE. One thing about this Android laptop is that the, the only cons is, is it's not a touch screen. I mean, you can't do what it does, but it's, uh, you use the mouse on it and you got the app market. It's fully compatible. You can install some emulators and run it, and it plays high definition video. It goes up to 720p definition when it plays. It has a built in 2 gigabyte SD solid state drive video. I mean, um, a solid state drive uh, hard drive. Um, the video quality is running perfect. Uh, high resolution. Uh, let me skip that. Girl got beautiful thighs. Alright. I know my lady's gonna be watching. Uh, me make this movie about it. As that's uh, playing, okay, I better quit that. Now checking out the web, uh, internet. It actually has Wi-Fi. It's just a regular G router. It also has um, a browser. Uh, it's perfect. It's, it has Google Chrome, uh, Google Chrome in it, and you can surf the net like perfect. Uh, it works with Skype, but audio only. And I'm a big Robocop fan, so I'm just typing it in and I press enter and. It works perfect. It has a Wi-Fi. It has Ethernet connection. It also has um, it does exactly just like an Android, but without the touch screen. Um, it has three USB ports, an Ethernet, and a charging deck, and an SD on the side, and plus microphone input and um, output audio. This is a perfect on the go. Uh, it's just like having a cell phone, but a laptop. But it's a netbook. I mean, it almost can fit on a cargo pants pocket okay now that's in three minutes because I always say I got ten minutes okay uh, here man I also got myself some good Chinese treats I like seaweed soup and seaweed for my rice and noodles yeah Tom Yum Gung this is actually Thai noodles I love hot and sour and I ordered another uh, let me see what else did I got oh god I spilled it I got these these are actually Bluetooth micro um, uh, to pair your phone or anything Bluetooth devices, including PS2 controller, I mean PS3 controllers and Nintendo Wii controllers. This is perfect, you know. So, um, I got these for only a dollar each and 98 cents actually from ahappybigdeal.com. Um, this is actually the box from the, they're called EPCs, but they have the most lousy box. And also, um, um, I'm, I ordered a bunch of these. Uh, I ordered three of them, so I'm going to do a review on that. And plus the knockoff iPhones. All right. Back to the scenario. Okay. Okay, close these boys. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Next thing. I'm doing the DV camera MP4 version 5 player. It's actually this slider right here. I don't recommend this one or that one. I like this one. Uh, it's, it mimics identical to a PSP Go, but it's not a knockoff or nothing, but it plays emulators. Yes. It actually is an MP5. MP5 is a code. Okay. How to define it? They got MP3 players, which just only plays MP3s. Then they have MP4, which plays videos as well. That's why they call it MP4. This is how China calls it. Then MP5 is with game player and camera. So, this one has a camera. Uh, I haven't even took the plastic out. It has a built-in 2 gigabyte. Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Internal memory. Oh man, I run out of battery. But the speed on it, I've tested it out. It plays fluently on Super Nintendo. No, no, uh, regular Nintendo games. And the video quality is decent. Um, 
it has a nice backlit screen. Uh, the battery power, to be honest, only lasts up to five hours to six hours or max nine hours of music, you know, as long as the screen's not played. It also can be plugged to a television. Um, it has an AV video output using a mini to comp com composite out. Uh, it comes with a charger in the oddest way. Uh, it gave me a wrong one. They gave me a European, not European, I'm sorry, Hong Kong connection. It comes with a piping USB port and, a, and an iPod uh, headphones. They're knockoffs, but yeah. And I have to use one of these just to get it to work in U.S. soil. So that's a quick review on these MP5 players. Okay, time to put that back in that pile. The next thing I have right now my review, all right, and I'm not going to say how much these cost because I'm going to be slinging them at the swamp meet. Oh, and these guys cost about $6. This is a ceramic feel like plastic. I love it. This is Android. Yeah, all right. Um, the fake iPhones. This, this is not really a real iPhone, of course. It, it has a cheap box. Um, if you guys heard of Ashen, his name is Ashen. His uh, spelling is A-S-H-E-N, I think. Ashen Reviews. He, he's really known for making um, uh, videos uh, for um, knockoffs of China made. Okay, comparing from the... I don't have a real I, iPhone, but look at it. It's just a cheesy box. It's made out of, you know, kind of like a printout, but it's very solid, very thick. It comes in, of course, a red quality uh, assurance type of, uh, let me lay the camera a little bit. I'm running out of minutes on this thing, let me see. And to be honest, it feels really light because there's no battery. Yes, you can open it. It doesn't say iPhone has no Mac symbol. It's covered with plastic of protection. And this is what it is and what it comes inside the box it actually has two lithium batteries which are weak I don't know why it gives me a basic USB to power outlet cheap audio but it's still good it's still good and this another battery second battery and a real iPod sync cable oh man I need some water because I think I, I took five shots Okay, I like 10. Um, this is also, um, I, I don't really want to say that it looks like and acts like an iPhone, no. Uh, it does have a camera from the rear, which is what you see right there. It has a rear camera. The front is fake. And uh, another thing, uh, let me turn it on. This cell phone is also a, a dual SIM card. One is for you, you know, regular SIM card, then the world SIM card. The only benefits for this is it's a world phone. It's on lock, it has a camera, all the basic stuff, Wi-Fi, but it only does Java. Uh, it doesn't do Flash. It cannot play YouTube videos. I kid you not, this thing has the most funniest thing. Let me lay this tripod. Okay. And when I'm holding this, look at this. It come. This is not a stylus. It's an antenna. Why? Uh, you can move it around, of course. What the hell? And then, um, the other thing about it is inserting SIM. And it looks identical to an iPhone. The touch screen is, uh, it's just regular sensor. It has a television. But in U.S. soil, we don't have any more analog. So, I actually I have to set it to U.S. region, but... It doesn't have analog over here in the States. We have everything is digital now. And it feels a little more heavier. Uh, to be honest, all the casing for iPhones, you know, like the, the skins, etc. Does fits for this. It's now heavy, but not as heavy as a real iPhone. As a fake, I don't know, That that is fake. That's for the SIM card. Um, and it, it says 32 gigabyte. No, the max that a micro SD card can fit in. <laughs> it has no memory at all. And when I turn it off, it gets really annoying. Uh, I have, of course, I have to do this. Bloody hell! I um, que puta stop being It sucks. This is a. Uh, I mean, it's all right. The only benefits on this iPhone knockoff is the fact